So the other day I watched a video by Elliot Hulse, one of my favorite, uh, you know, veteran YouTubers that I watch from time to time. In this particular video, he was talking about how he had gotten rid of 90% of his books. And if any of you guys know Elliot Hulse from the Strength Camp channel, you'll know that he's a very well-read man, a pretty smart guy. And he's got plenty of videos on YouTube where he's showing his house with you know, hundreds of books, heaps of bookshelves stacked everywhere, and all that jazz. Now the reason he got rid of these books is because he felt that he was getting stifled. He felt that he was feeling somewhat of information paralysis. And this is a very common thing for wizard type individuals that really enjoy you know, gathering information. You can fall for the trap of gathering too much information and not giving your brain enough time to truly digest the information or to compute different things. And when this happens, it can be detrimental to you. It can be worse off than you not even knowing this information because now you know too much and you're confused about what you should do. This often happens in a lot of people when they're trying to learn about business, for example. They'll read a bunch of business books, but they'll never take any action. Or some guys that try to learn about dating. They'll read a bunch of dating books, maybe watch a bunch of videos, but never approach a girl. This happens to a lot of us. We gather the information, we watch the videos, the tapes, for hours on end, thinking that we're going to get better. Whereas the opposite effect happens, we just get more confused. So what you need to do to combat this is to give yourself some room to breathe. And what I liked about Elliot's video is he made a metaphor about how reading books and gathering information is somewhat like digesting food or the food that you put in your body, the whole process of that. We all know very well that the ratio of the macronutrients, macronutrients you put in your body, your fats, carbohydrates, proteins, can affect your body composition. Or the total sheer amount of calories you digest can also affect your body weight. In the same way, the type of books you read can affect your mind and the amount of information you gather or digest can affect your clarity and your ability to process information and your ability to think. So... In the same way that you're going to die with food, if you're one of these wizard type guys, you need to go and die with these books. So what Elliot suggested is that you get one bookshelf and you keep your best books there. And if you need room, you get rid of some of the other ones and put some of the new ones in. But you never go past the capacity of the bookshelf. It's the same thing for everything else. If you're watching too many videos on YouTube, stop doing that. If you're listening to many podcasts, stop doing that. Understand enough to get started. Understand what you need to know to do exactly what you have to do at this particular time. And then take action. Because if you start for yourself with information, you're getting rid of the chance of authentic creativity. You get rid of your capacity to come up with original ideas. So that's just something to keep in mind. And once again, this goes over not just books, but information in general. The information you're seeing on your Facebook feed, your Instagram, your audio books, your books, just your TV. When there's too much information, it clouds your mind. So give yourself brief moments of clarity by just removing it. Now, I used to be one of these guys that used to uh, read a book a week. And I stopped doing that because I realized most of the time you don't really process the book if you read a book a week. Yeah, you read the pages, you get the general concept, but you don't really truly understand what's going on. So it starts becoming an ego thing where you can brag about, I've read 50 books or I've read 100 books in a year and stuff like that. But what exactly did you gain from it? Did you, did you gain real knowledge or did you just gain a bunch of facts? So what I do now is I read a book and I take my time with it or I watch a video and I take my time with it and get the information and then apply it straight away. There is no more gathering. 
and I suggest you guys do the same. Anyway, if you like that video, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and all that good stuff. More videos coming soon. Peace. Do it! Just do it!